I've been reading through the Psalms, and I hit Psalm 94 the other day. And there was a passage in there that I thought was really apropos. Let me just read it. Can wicked rulers be allied with you, those who frame injustice by statute? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my refuge. He will bring back on them their iniquity and wipe them out for their wickedness. The Lord our God will wipe them out. So what it's talking about is rulers who pass unjust laws to oppress the people. And I will suggest that's what we're dealing with now in the United States. They have made so many unjust laws that any of us could be arrested and convicted on the whim of somebody in government. For example, if you are a farmer and you plow over what somebody decides is a wetland, you can be thrown in jail. And the normal rule in criminal law is that you must have criminal intent. It's called mens re in Latin. These regulations don't require evil intent. They simply require the act that they are accusing you of. So if you feed somebody raw milk from your own goats or your dairy, or if you plow in a wetland, or you drive over an eagle on the freeway, you can be sent to jail. I will suggest that all of you who are on Facebook start posting Psalm 94, because Psalm 94 addresses exactly where we are in this country right now. Everything in the world was created with words. God created everything with words. He gave us the ability to speak, and in that sense, we are godlike. And so the words that we speak out of our mouths change things. And what the left is trying to do is get Christians to shut up because they know at some level that if we keep speaking the words, they cannot prevail. And so what they try and do is shame you or embarrass you or frighten you into not speaking the words, and especially not speaking them in public. And what I am gently suggesting to all of you is take this Psalm 94, which describes exactly where the United States is right now, and start speaking those words. Start writing them on Facebook. Start putting them in emails. Start making bumper stickers out of them. Use these words because these words are your defense. These words are more than your defense, they're an offense. Because what you're doing when you speak these words is you are saying to the world, this is how it should be. And what they're saying is, no, this is how it should be. And what we have is a duel of words. And if you shut up, their words will prevail. That's why the Muslims put these towers in the middle of all their cities and they speak out and yell out their words over the city. That's what they're doing. So the Psalm 94, speak it, write it, and especially that area around verse 20, because that specifically speaks to what we're dealing with right now. Please consider becoming a sponsor. Please visit crimsonthread.com purpose for an explanation of what we're doing and perhaps to become a sponsor. Thank you. Oh